Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. Good to all my family members out there in the world. You are now rocking with your brother, Fat Boy Fish. What is good, family? What is good? Peace and blessings be upon all my family out there in the world. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, <clears throat> but I've been really going hard on this 9 o'clock prayer hour, and I would like you to come in assembly with us and... I mean, I'm in my finest hour, y'all, praying to the Father. I'm in the finest hour at 9 o'clock. Don't get me wrong. Even though I'm praying before 9 o'clock hit for y'all, you know what I'm saying, for my family, everything. Everything is revealed in this prayer. And if you can only come to this prayer, you don't you don't have to be in my house, in the physical. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to knock on my door and be all like, hey, you ready for prayer hour, fat? No, it's in your own home, your place of residence, at your work, at your church, at your friend's house, in the grocery stores. All you got to do is start praying around that time and you will be in assembly with all of God's children. Y'all don't understand how much I'm in my finest hour with all my brothers and sisters and the things that we are saying and we are talking to God from. So if you want a blessing. If you want to be prayed for, if you want to be healed, if you got something going on and you need to be blessed, you need to come with us at nine o'clock prayer hour. I don't care if you only dip in for five, six minutes. If you take out the time anywhere from nine o'clock to ten o'clock, I don't care if you get there at nine fifty nine. Father, no, you still was in the symbol. We talked about me and father have talked about it. I'm in my finest hour over here. Me and my brothers and sisters, we are shining down here on this earth, on this prayer hour. So if you need a prayer, if you need something, if you, if you want to have a, a long time with your father, you need to come with us. You need to be a part of this prayer hour because I'm telling you, it's a strong prayer that's going up. So I know only blessings can come back on down. So you need to come in assembly. Family, I don't ask y'all for anything. I ask y'all to support other black people, businesses, YouTubers. You know I'm going to say that. Please support your people. But me, I don't ask nothing of y'all, family. I don't. I don't even care if you watch my shows or not. I don't. I really don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? For the people who are blessed by these shows, that is fine. You know what I'm saying? That's who I'm doing it for. So I, I really, I, I don't ask y'all for anything. But this is very important. You know what I'm saying? Not only to me. But to everybody else and to the Father. And if you want to get some good blessings, come chill with your boy at 9 o'clock for prayer hour. Respect your Father. Talk to him. But I'm going to warn you. I'm going to warn you. If you come to prayer hour and you there in a symbol and you, you don't do what you said you was going to do. And you back in this world committing sins, you're going to be condemned by God. So don't even show up. If you, if, if you feel that. You can you could be good for that one day and then you go back out into this world and commit your act again. I'm warning you right now. We sending up a powerful prayer to the father and you will be cursed if you turn away and start doing wicked. So if you're not serious about God, don't even show up in the spirit. Don't. Don't. Don't even waste our time. Don't waste God time. Don't waste none of your brothers and sisters time. They're sending this powerful prayer up to the Father. I mean, we are in our finest. It's, it is a lot of transference of power going up to bless Father. And we talking about everything. When you come to this prayer hour, I want you to be open with your Father. Commit your heart to your Father. Anything that bothers you, anything that's going on with you, it is your time to shine in this prayer hour. And we're going to do it every day. Hey, even if I'm tired, the father, he know, y'all, he know what's going on with me. And he know I'm going through it just like y'all is. I'll be tired. I hit the brick. I hit the wall. I, I, we go through everything. But I'm dedicating myself with my brothers and sisters for the rest of our lives until Jesus call us home for this nine o'clock prayer hour. So I'm asking you, if you ever want to do something for me, please support your people. Love other people, no matter what color they are. Uh, try to lift your brothers up and sister, your brothers and sisters up, and join and be in a symbol at this nine o'clock prayer. I, I'm not asking a lot from y'all. I don't ask y'all for nothing. I really don't. But if you ever want to do something for your brother, Fat Boy Fish, this is what I'm asking you. This is what I'm requiring of you. 
Come be a joy. Come get some of these blessings. Come get some of these blessings. Come get some of this healing. Come get some of these prayers. Glorify and lift your father up for this instant in time. I'm not asking you to be up there for the whole hour praying. If you have that will to do it, please, by all means, my brothers and sisters, don't stop. But if you can only appear for two minutes, a minute, you will be blessed. I promise you that in Jesus Christ's name. I promise you, family. I promise you that in Jesus Christ's name. Now, I don't even know if we're going to be able to get through all the topics at all today. But let me grab black people of America real quick. Let me grab my black people real quick. And let me let me talk to my people real quick. I got something I want to talk to y'all about. It's two different things. The first one is. Now, I like Asian people and Mexican people. How they get together and they actually do something. The only reason why we really hurting and we have a lot of we don't have is because we as black people are not willing to lift other black people up. Now, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. So you assholes out there that say, oh, fat boy, he's he said Mexican. He said Asian. He 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 must be a racist. He's a racist. Get all of that. Forget all of that. You are a coward and you are immature. Grow up. You know what I'm saying? Grow the hell up. If you growed up, maybe the whole world would be just a little bit better without the asshole that you is. But check this out. One thing that I like about... There's other things that I like about them. But the one thing that I like about Mexican people and Asian people, they come together and they help each other out. Let me give you an example. It'd be some Mexican people and some Asian people. It'd be three or four people living in that house. They will... Pull a money, pull a resources together and buy that home, y'all. And buy that home. Now they got one, they got one full house that they own. They move to another house to do the same thing. That's how they come up, y'all. They help each other. You know what I'm saying? They are willing to come together to pull each other up. We, we don't know how to do that. Don't sit here and play games. Excuse me, family. But don't sit here and play games with your brother, fat boy, fish. I don't like games. I don't play games. I don't like the, the bullshit rhetoric. I don't have time for this bullshit. So you listening to these black folk that's going to constantly put you down. I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. I'm not on their motions. I'm not on their issues or nothing. I'm not even, I don't even stand. For, I don't even talk for them. I don't. I look at them as my enemy because they wish death on y'all. I can't do that. But family. If we could come together, family, it starts with the family. If you could get your family together on the same page and y'all pull y'all resources together like, like the Mexicans and the Asian people do, we could be homeowners. We can own property. We could build up businesses. But it starts with us helping each other. Us helping each other to come up. Now, you see these folks out here, and you see them, y'all. They can't wait to pull other black people down, and that damn crab mentality, that, that crab barrel-looking bull stuff. Now, check it. If you can work with your own family, and y'all come together, y'all can own some, some of this property. Y'all can get together. Man, I look at my situation, and I've been on my own since I was 20. You know what I'm saying? I've been paying rent since I was 18. But if I was to move back with my dad... Do you know how much money I would have? Do you know I would be balling? Don't get me wrong. I'm not going I'm not gonna pee on my daddy. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna help with bills around the house and all of that. But he ain't asking me all the money and all the bills that I'm paying. So your brother fat boy fish, I'm stupid over here, y'all. I'm stupid because I can move with my family and save money and build. And build. You know what I'm saying? When you single and you by yourself, it's harder for you to build anything. Because it's all on you. But you can't say you don't got family. You can't say that. You can't say you ain't got family that's willing to work with you and y'all work together and y'all pull y'all resources and y'all can build something. You know what I'm saying? At this rate, you ain't going to have nothing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to have nothing if you can't build with your people. Okay, I'm done. Fat is off of that. If you don't understand that, whoo, you going to have to be thanking for yourself, family, because as I look at my others and my other brothers in YouTube that's like me we on the same page it's a, I, I sit back and this is how good your father is the ones that believe in God we are all strengthening each other I put that on Jesus Christ's name himself we are all working together and it's like it's like 
they say something, then you say something, then he say something, and it all goes together. You know what I'm saying? This this is how you know you're in the body of Christ. Because we are all working together on the same, we're in the same body, doing the same job, working. He probably can't reach you like I can. She probably can't reach you the way that I can. I probably can't reach you like he can. But we all going to reach you. You know what I'm saying? We are Eventually, we all going to reach you if you're trying to make a difference and you're trying to make a change in your life. You know what I'm saying? We all working together on this. The ones that believe in God and fear him and love him. We are all on the same page. Either we know it or we don't. Either we know it or we don't. But I sit back and I, I know my spiritual gifts. I watch it. I'll be like, man, this is God working right before my eyes. I see it. I see it. You know what I'm saying? It's a powerful thing, y'all. It's a powerful thing. Okay? We talked about that. My family. You gonna have you you you're gonna have to work with your people. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to work with your people. You're gonna have to give to them. They gonna have to give to you to you. And y'all gonna have to build each other up to have something in this world. You see how Mexicans and Asian people is doing it. They run in circles around us. And the biggest thing is, is they love each other. I love you, brothers and sisters. That's why I'm telling I'm man enough to say it. I'm not a I'm not a coward. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like these people out here that wanna see you cutthroat and turning your back on each other and killing and stealing and gossiping and all. I'm not on that page. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on that. I'm not on that. I wanna see the up lifting of my people not my people being suppressed but i'm all for that i'm all for that i'm all for that now the stuff that i'm gonna say i'm gonna get in more detail over it tonight because i really i got it right here in my pocket i've been putting it on the back burner for 48 hours y'all 48 hours i've been putting it on the, but it's been eating at my soul so i gotta say it i gotta get it out of me you know what i'm saying i gotta get it out of me but you know how your brother feel. You know you know how I feel. You know what I'm saying? You know how I feel. We got to we got to lift each other up. We see other people around us lifting each other up. We need to take suit. We need to follow suit and do the same thing. We can have the same thing that they have. And we can express love and learn how to love each other on the way. This is a road. This is a trip. And we we got to pack your bags. You know what I'm saying? Pack your bags and let's go on this trip. Let's get it, family. Let's get it. But it starts with us giving in to each other. I'm not talking about these backbiting Negroes. I'm not talking about these backstabbing Negroes. I ain't talking about these killing Negroes. I'm not talking about them. I'm not worried about them. They going to die where they stand. They don't know it. They don't know. They do not know it. Even though we sit here and we'll tell them all day long, you going to die in your sin. You going to die. You keep on sinning. You still sinning. You going to die in your sin, brother. You going to die in your sin, sister. They're not listening. They're not listening because they don't care. They just don't care. Okay, what was the other thing I want to talk? Now, this is very important. I'm just talking to my black people right now. Other people, you, you know I got love for y'all. I'm not a hatred. I ain't no hate in my heart like that. Mm -mm. If you let hatred into your heart, it will consume you. And you will become a monster. Look at racist people and how they act. Look at racist people and how they act. All that hatred? For what? Why? It's pushing them to an early death. Okay, I will. I will talk to white people for a second. White folks, my white brothers and my white sisters out there in the world, I'm talking to you. Now, I, I'm, I'm getting the self epiphany that your your ancestors hate y'all guts. I really do. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, from the knowledge that I have and things that I learned, because I am constantly learning, I'm constantly researching, looking at documents, all that, all that. I'm constantly. Life is, you have to learn every day. But from what I'm learning about your ancestors, is that y they hate y'all because they told you Jesus was white. And he black. And how you going to respect the Lord? Jesus, his people is black. You know what I'm saying? We are black people. We are the descendants of slaves of the people of your Bible. You know what I'm saying? When you read your Bible, you are li you're talking about black people. So they they want to see you go to hell. They do. They do. They got you believing in white Jesus and Jesus is not black. And look how y'all treat black people. I'm not saying all. But a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Let's get real. Let's get real. We not on that dumb stuff. Oh, uh, oh my God. Here, here, here goes silly stuff that I can't call them Uncle Toms. But here goes silly stuff that black people say that don't believe in God. If we stop talking about race, if we talk about stop talking about racism, it'll just go away. What planet do you come from? The best thing you can fight, the best way you can fight something is make people aware of it. <laughs> Don't get hit on the head. You know what I'm saying? Don't get hit on the head. But that's what Morgan Freeman said. You, you, we just stop talking about it and it'll just go away. 
it does not work like that you got to fight for it and we're fighting for it <laughs> we're fighting for it now this is the fight but my white brothers and my white sisters I'm an under conclusion that your ancestors never wanted y'all to go to heaven they never wanted you to be a part of heaven because they got you believing in white Jesus and and some of y'all be hating on black people but Jesus is black do your thinking you know what I'm saying put all of that together I ain't even gonna venture off that much on it think about what I said just think about it because I can keep on going on and on and on about it I'm not gonna do that use your brain and your common sense use your brain your common sense and your wisdom and your knowledge now back to my brothers and my sisters out here in the world now it's been said you weren't a slave why are you worried about it you wasn't born in captivity why are you worried about it? So not only do they don't want you to think about your history. That's the this is the closest to the history that we can actually say that people wrote down and everything. The slaves, they like they don't even want you to think about the history of your people. They don't want you to have no pride in your ancestors whatsoever. Everybody takes pride in their ancestors, no matter what tongue they speak, no matter what nation they come, no matter what land that they live in. Everybody takes pride in their ancestors to build for their future. They don't even want you to think about slave. Why are they making another slave movie? They making another slave movie again, again. <laughs> this is the mentality that they carry. So they don't want you to take pride in your ancestors. Forget about it. You wasn't a slave. How are you going to tell somebody to forget about their history? That is the most cruelest and inhumane thing you possibly could do to somebody. That's the next best thing and getting somebody stripping them naked and having them run down the damn highway with some blinders on knowing not damn where, nowhere where they going. That's what they doing to us. Now, here go the other one. Now, these sorry individuals, family, are trying to make your ancestors look as they were immigrants. I see it. You know what I'm saying? I see. I hear the rhetoric. They putting it in books. Black people came over here as immigrants. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. The day we stop talking about it is the day they win. The day we stop talking about our ancestors is the day they win. I'm not willing to do that. I'm not willing to forget where I come from. I'm not willing to give up on my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not willing to do that. I'm not. So you can put in any damn book that my people were immigrants they keep on doing this a hundred years from now if we don't keep it up my 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 great grandchildren is gonna think that they was an immigrant we didn't we didn't have no opportunities like that hell no you're not gonna downgrade what happened in this country if you're not willing to accept it make amends for it i suggest you shut the hell up and go sit your ass down somewhere because you're bringing a disservice to historical events that my people have to go through they don't want you to know about slaves they don't want you to know that. that what your people went through in the 50s they don't want you to know about that shit you might as well say your, your people in the 50s was immigrants C compare how can you compare our struggle in this country to anybody there is a there's only a couple of people that could ever say that they've been through some stuff like we have Native Americans Jews who else who else can I put on that list uh, Kosovo uh, any mass killing of people over in Africa they would be on our level you know what I'm saying but y'all have to understand what was done to our ancestors all the way up to we still paying for what happened to our ancestors through racism in this country it still ain't over it still ain't over this the story goes on we're still in the damn struggle and for anybody who would say that it doesn't exist I ought to slap the taste out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? You're doing a disservice to your own people. But you know how money is. You know money. You know money talk. And money money will have somebody that, that come from California thinking they came from Australia. Money, money talks. And money persuades a lot of people. But we're not willing. We're not willing to forget our heritage. That is your heritage. You know what I'm saying? Your people. And they want you. They want to downgrade us like we were immigrants. Immigrants chose to come to this country. Immigrants chose to stay in this country. When, when your great-grandfather was in that field, he had a gun pointed on his head. And if he wasn't picking that cotton, guess what? He was a dead brother. You know what I'm saying? Immigrants choose to come and go. They got, we don't even have our own country. They can pack up and go back to where they come from. And they got a whole country. Black people, we don't got no country. Listen to Morgan Freeman. Black history is American history. Man, we only been called American for 200 years. This country is how old? Is how old? 
get with me. You understand? Know let's get real right here. Let's talk on some real common sense. Let's talk on some real righteousness that's need to be said. But it's so many different cowards in this world that's not willing to tell you the truth. They would rather sell you a dream and have you going down a path of lies, deception, and death. Before they was want to see you on the path of righteousness, lifting up your people. Now, family, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to try to get to that story tonight. I don't know, family. I don't know. I'm going to try your, your brother, fat boy. I'm going to try my best. I'll repeat it back to you again. If you want to get yourself some of these good prayers, if you want to get yourself some of these good blessings, come meet us. Come meet us. Not just me. I'm not speaking on it now. I might have... Now rocking with your brother, Fat Boy Fish. What is good, family? What is good? We got some conversation tonight. It's your brother, Fat Boy Fish. I'm here for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking out the time to listen to some of your brother, Fat Boy's conversation. I would like to thank all my new brothers and sisters that's actually paying attention and subbed up to the channel. For all, for all my loyal brothers and sisters, it's, it's all children that subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I have did the demographic, I have seen the many different faces, and I have seen nothing but children. That is very alarming and that is very disturbing to me, but I will put that on the side for another day. Now, even my niece, you know what I'm saying? My niece is only like four or five years old and she is still sub to my channel. What's up, little niecey? What's up, all my little cousins, all my little nephews and... Nieces, y'all want to pay attention to your uncle? See, I'm, I'm big brother to some, I'm big uncle to some, I'm little brother to so many, I'm big brother to, I'm, I'm so much to everyone, but you are the same because we need everyone. Everyone is so important. I don't care how docile, how, how low you think you are in your life, you are somebody and we love you and we need you. You are somebody. You don't let this world kick you around for so long. When you come around here, you're going to get some genuine inspired and some somebody to inspire you. You're going to get some genuine love. You're going to get some honor, respect, and all of that when you're messing with somebody who is real. Now, I would like to thank y'all. And since y'all the little ones and y'all pay attention to me, I would like to give y'all some gift cards to do something. You know what I'm saying? I would like to do something for you. I'm not the richest man in the world by no means. But I would like to help you. For supporting me so I want you to comment on what you would like what type of gift cards a game whatever whatever y'all put down I will take it into consideration and we can forge this together because game shows and prizes and stuff like that I really don't know how to do those things but if I can get your feedback if I can get the feedback from y'all then I can be able to to do something you know what I'm saying right now I'm not receiving no no feedback Due to powers that be, oh, I don't know why they want to put their foot on me and hold me up for so long. Now, tonight's, tonight's topic has been burning on your boy. It's been simmering up on me. It's, it's, it's been things that I have been looking at and I've been watching. So I'm going to, you know how your brother is. I'm going to read it. We're going to talk about it for a little bit. But the best thing that I can ask is that you be in, in the spirit at prayer time, you know what time it is, you know what's going on. For all you actors and actresses that are possessed by demons and have demons overwhelming, well, overwhelming you in your life. Now, we as children of God, we gonna send out a massive prayer tonight. I mean a massive prayer. We gonna make the devil so mad. We gonna give the devil, we gonna give him nightmares tonight. Hallelujah, amen, for the Father is worthy. We gonna put a bad taste in his mouth. For God is worthy. We going to make him pissed off all day and it ain't a damn thing that he can do about it. We going to help some people. We going to pray for some people. We going to lift some people up as children of God. So Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, if you want to get healed, if you want to get some of these demons from out of you, come. If that goes to any actor. You Anybody is welcome. Anybody is welcome. Anybody. I don't care who you are. If you believe in God. If you believe in the Son of God, if you believe in the Holy Spirit, you are welcome to attend in your homes, at your job, at your work. I don't care if you're in the bathroom. Me and Father have talked about it. You know what I'm saying? He said what he said. 
I told him what I'm requiring of y'all. So it is on you. You are welcome. So you stars, if you want to be released of these bad spirits, it's no telling what the Lord, what the Lord Jesus is going to do for prayer for people tonight. It is no telling. I do not doubt the Savior. I do not doubt the Lamb. I do not doubt the Son of Man. I do not doubt the Masseuse. I do not doubt him. I do not. I put my faith in him because just like the Father. I say the Father is worthy. Well, Jesus, he is holy. And if you come to this prayer and you commit your heart and you are honest to your very essence of getting receiving these blessings and rebuking all of them bad spirits out of you, it can be done tonight if you put your faith in it. We're here. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is with us. Now, I may have started this. I may have be charged over this, but it's because the Father is the reason why I'm doing it. It's because of the Father gave me the knowledge to bring this forth for all my brothers and sisters out there that need it. Now, check this out. We're going to go ahead and get into topic family for tonight. And I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to stop. Talk about it. Keep reading. You know your brother. You know how I gets down. You know how fat boy fish is. Boy, boy, boy. You know how I be. Now, check this out. I'm starting to think that we as black people need to people care about the black community or the poor amongst or even can be fair to the history as black people we have endured as black people. It seems the more the more rich they get, the farther away from us they get, they start calling themselves American like like they think they are they start sounding like rich people who only step on the backs of the poor and the needy so let me stop right there family i really mean this we as a people we got all these black folks up here talking on the behalf of black people and you know what i said the other night ago i truly meant every single everything i say i mean it i really do and it feels like to me as if when black folk get rich they get amnesia they forget where they come from they forget about how hard it was they forget all the different elements that we face as a people here in this country it seems like they get a million dollars and they pull down their chonies and take a crap on all of us that's what i feel like I cannot put that in no other words to express that feeling. I feel like it's, you know how they say, is is make it rain in the club? Well, I feel like they making it feces all around us. I don't like it, family. I don't like it. I don't, I, I, I truly don't like it. And to me, since they, since they want to say that they care about the black community, what are they doing? They got all this money. They got all this power. They got all this influence. But as you can see, they don't give a damn. They don't care about you. But they so quick to say, oh, I'm down with the brothers. I'm down with the sisters. Oh, I care about my people. No, no. From their actions, from their actions is showing you they don't give a damn about us. So if they don't give a damn about us, why do we care about them so much? They already rich family. They already rich. They don't need no more money. You know what I'm saying? They can't take it with them. You know what I'm saying? So I feel personally, I think we need to, uh... We need to cut and run. You know what I'm saying? We need to cut and run from these individuals because they don't mean us. They're not doing us no good and they're making us look stupid. They really are making us. they making us look stupid. Okay, let's keep on reading. I look at people like Morgan Freeman and Jim Jones. There is a difference in the two. One of them is for the, the black community and people. The other sold out so long so long ago they forgot the meaning of being black and what we as black people have to face to get they they picture ops as if they have really done something for the people but the whole time they use us as a promotion act to make even more money so they look so they look at us as a way to get their ratings up or even more exposure I think we as black people need to stop supporting any black, black famous person that is not looking out for the best interest of black people I stop right there so as I okay Morgan Freeman Morgan Freeman now 
I'm going to try to talk about him without no bias because he's already a worker of the devil. How can you play God and don't believe in God? Worker of the devil. So um, I'm going to try not to slander so much and I'm, I'm going to try my best not to be biased. But Morgan Freeman, he feels if you work a little bit harder that you can have everything that is given to everyone else. He feels that everybody has the same opportunity. To me, Morgan Freeman stopped being black after the show Lean On Me. When the movie Lean On Me was done, that's when he left his blackness. He used to be black. Now, Jim Jones, you know, he always had our corner. He always talks about black issues because he loves black people. Morgan Freeman don't give a damn about nobody but himself. This is the same man that would divorce his wife just to marry the daughter. So, yeah, you need to, uh, and if it wasn't a daughter, it was a younger woman in her 20s. So that should tell you the state of mind of Morgan Freeman. He cares more about his money and his penis than his people. And that is the truth. And there's a difference. There's a difference between Jim Jones and Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman doesn't give a damn. He just doesn't. So Morgan Freeman will be at the top of that pole that Escalante Poe of as worst of a black person as you can be. He would be the worst. Jim Jones would be the fighter fighting for us in our corner. So if he's like Jim Jones, I support them. You know what I'm saying? You got people like Will and Jada Smith that got over $350 million, but they want to cry about the Oscars, but they too scared to, to make their own black Hollywood, to make their own Hollywood. Does that make any sense, family? But they always crying about they don't get no fair share. But when we need some help, they ain't nowhere to be found. They ain't nowhere. Where, where did you see Will Smith come in in the, in the catastrophes in Texas with all the flooding? Where did you see him at? Did you see him say anything? Did he do anything? Did he donate any money? It took Kevin Hart to say something. But, but Will Smith, we've been supporting him for over 25 years. You know what I'm saying? He got money. Does he care about his people? Because if he did, there's no way, family, I could have that much money and not try to do something for you. For I am your brother, for I love you, for we serve the same God. We are all in the same condition, and that is sin. Welcome to the human family. Okay, where I stop at? Black famous people. Okay. We as black people need to stop supporting any black famous person that is not looking out for the best interests of black people. Hallelujah. Amen. Do I got to put Jesus name on it? Do I have to put the Lord name on it? I'm serious. I'm not playing up over here. They didn't have they run. They had fun. They got wax rich. They got mansions, yachts and homes. That's enough. You have enough. It's time for us to raise somebody else up and see what they will do for our community. Okay. Some of them don't speak out on issues because they know they're out of place. How can you talk about problems and the plight of black people if you don't live around black people or even mingle with your brothers and sisters? They live in million dollar homes, go to places and do things that black normal black people will never will will never get the chance to do always talking about equality in America and never been on unemployment in the unemployment line now let me stop right here now you see where this is going you see where this is going you see so as I look as I as I look at them some of them they know they place they know not to speak out on black issues because first of all they don't identify with the black community they don't consider themselves to be black they don't live around black people they don't hang around black people they don't know no black people so it's some of them that know they place they know but it's a lot of other ones out there that be living in the million dollar homes ain't seen a brother for a million years but they, all of a sudden they want to talk out on black issues it's a saying in this world. Everybody want to be a nigga, but don't nobody want to be a nigga. These are the people I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? These are the people. Look at, I'm going to bring that one up on a later date because I'm going to dive all the way and I'm going to break that all the way down and I'm going to make some pe I'm going to make some heads turn and I'm going to make some people feel stupid about their damn self. But I mean what I'm saying. Everybody want to be a nigga, but don't nobody want to be a nigga. Well, I am a Negro. 
I want to be a Negro. I love being a Negro. And ain't nobody can take that from me. I take pride in my people. I take pride in what I am. And I try to help my people as much as I can with the little things that I can do with these with these hands. That's all it takes to build this black nation to be something better and greater than what it is now. Now, let's keep on going, family. They go places and do things that black, normal black people will never get a chance to do. They always talking about equality in America and never been on employment lines, signed up for an EBT card to feed their families, had to live in a, in, a, in a mission or a shelter on the streets. They never been laid, laid off from work and the rent is due, been, in, been on Section 8 in the Section 8 line because they can't afford the rent, had to stand in a welfare line just to find a job but they but they the ones that want want all of all to say they want okay I gotta read this one back I'm sorry they never stood in, in the line of a welfare line found, found because they have to find a job but they the ones that want all us to, to say you need to work harder and pull yourself up by your own bootstraps when society have been kicking you down and they want to preach equality to the masses for the black elite this is why you are not qualified to speak on the behalf of black people of America and if you want to come back you need to give back or keep stepping. You are no longer welcome here. I mean every single word of that. If you want to talk on black, if you want to talk anything about black problems, you better be helping black people. Oh, the one of the main ones that come to my mind. Now, I have respect for D.L. Hughley, y'all. I really had respect and I listened to what he said about DACA. And 50-50 of what he was saying was correctly. He just fell off. This man sit here, family. This man sit here, and if you think I'm lying, go look it up on YouTube. Listen to what he had to say, because a lot of us are very offended. I am not the only one that's offended up over here by what he said. He called our ancestors immigrants. That means we had a choice to come to this country. We didn't have to endure no slavery, no, no raping of our women. No selling off of our children, no raping of the little boys and the little the little black girls, no no beating the black man down and riding him like a donkey. He said that we were immigrants. Immigrants, when they come to this country, they got opportunities to build. They are given opportunities. Slaves are not. They are prisoners of war. My people came over to this country as prisoners of of war and D.L. Hughley you bet not ever fucking forget that shit Negro you bet not ever forget that shit we came as prisoners of war slaves not immigrants there is a difference what else did he say that pissed me the hell off he said that the people who built this country to be great were immigrants that's what he said with his own words I call people out on their own words y'all I call them out on their own rhetoric on things that they have said because my father has taught me anything that comes out of your mouth comes from your heart and your mind and this is what he feels about his own people he called you an immigrant he told you that your ancestors was immigrants not prisoners of war so and then I look at I look at how they try to change the narrative of prisoners of wars to people who came here willingly I don't have anything to say about DACA because I'm too worried about black families our families are still being displaced destroyed from inside and from outside influences from our own people and from the government I'm keeping it real over here I don't got time for games my people ain't got no time for no hundred years for this bullshit we don't have time for that 
We need to be on another level for our children of the future. So we keep it 100 around here. This is black power. This is black pride. This is black unity. And if you don't want no unity, if you don't want no black pride, I suggest you keep your ass on the other side. Because I ain't got no, no good words to say to you, brother. I ain't got no good words to say to people who have the spirit of divisions that push that shit on all of us to keep us at each other's throat. I don't have time for that. My people don't have time for that either. And I have said to you many of times, just because I'm black pride don't mean I'm not for everybody else's pride. It's all equal. You want to talk about you want some equality. I will give you some equality because equality is righteousness. And that is what your brother Fatboy Fish stands for. Don't get me fucked up. Now, I had to lay that on y'all tonight. I am sorry for my cuss words. I'm sorry. But I mean them. There is no other words. You know your brother Fat Boy Fish. I'm trying to get right with God. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not Jehoshaphat. I, I'm, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Jehoshaphat, he keep it PG. He a man of God. I'm a man of God, but I'm in the street, I'm a street nigga too. I'm a field nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry. I see it this way. This is the way that I see it. So this is how I'm going to portray it. And this is how I'm going to get down. I'm trying to be right. To all my brothers and sisters out there in the world, please show your spirit. Send up your blessings. We're going to send the most powerful blessing and praise up to God unlike this world has never seen before. Ancient days of antiquity is how we trying to bring the glory to our Father in this present time and this present day. Now, to all my brothers and sisters out there, peace and blessings be upon you in the Lord Jesus Christ's name. You call him what you call him. I know he love you. You know what I'm saying? I know he love you. Father, I confess, cause I've been living wrong.